Hello everyone and welcome to Streaming Tech Now. Thanks so much for joining me. On today's video, I've got a very important announcement for anyone that owns a Samsung Galaxy S10 or Note 10 device. Samsung has another huge problem on its hands. Basically what is happening is millions of Galaxy S10 users and Note 10 users need to know about this. It's been discovered that you can actually bypass the phone's cutting edge ultrasonic in-display fingerprint sensor with nothing more than a $3.50 silicon case similar to what you're seeing in the photo right now. That's not the exact one. That is just a similar picture of those front and back wraparound type cases but essentially what is happening is that by having that case on it's confusing the fingerprint sensor and it's accepting any fingerprint how scary is that you just spend 800 900 a thousand dollars for your brand new phone and now you have to worry about losing your phone and then it's in the hands of a criminal that all they have to do is go and get one of these cases put it on and it will accept any fingerprint. What's even more scary is a lot of people keep their banking information on their phone. So all they have to do is put that silicon case on, it will accept the fingerprint, and then now they have access to all of your banking information. Well, this has actually been captured on video by a couple that discovered this, and I'm going to show you that video right now. So I recently purchased a Samsung Galaxy S10 for my wife as a gift and the first thing we thought of doing, obviously when you buy a new phone you go out and buy a, a new case to protect it. We went out and purchased a silicon case for the front and back which protects it in full. Um, my wife got home and went through the setup of the phone which asked her to register a fingerprint and she did do that and we thought the phone would be secure with the fingerprint registered but I'll just show you that there's one fingerprint registered which is my wife's I'll just get her to log in so she's logged in there if I go on to settings and biometrics and security it just shows there in blue that there's one fingerprint registered on the device in theory I shouldn't be able to log into this phone with my fingerprint but if I just lock it and unlock it and use my fingerprint it'll let me into the device. Now the problem with that is, not only is the issue with the fingerprint letting me into the device, you've also got numerous apps on the phone, banking apps, so if I just go into NatWest, the fingerprint recognition will be prompted, and if I try and log in to a banking, it'll let me into Lisa's banking, where I can transfer funds in a split second and pass the phone back and nobody would know any different. It's quite concerning. So that was a quick video of the couple demonstrating their issue. Now you're probably wondering what Samsung is doing and saying about all this. Well, they did release an official statement and that was this. We're investigating this internally. We recommend all customers to use Samsung authorized accessories specifically designed for Samsung products. So it does appear that they are taking this seriously. They are investigating this internally. So it will be interesting to find out what ultimately comes about this. Now, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think this is Samsung's fault? Do you think this is somehow the case's fault? Some people are saying this couple actually registered the fingerprint through the silicon case. Well, I asked myself, is that even possible? Those silicon cases are kind of thick, so I don't know that it's possible for the phone to actually register your fingerprint through the case. But if it is possible, then perhaps it was able to trap the fingerprint. But one thing that you guys need to know before you start commenting is that this is just one example. This couple is one depiction and one illustration. This was tested on multiple other Samsung Galaxy S10 devices with this type of case and it also had the same results. So it's not just this couple. So just remember that before you start commenting. So let me know what you guys think. I hope 
hope you all enjoy this video. It's definitely something to be on the lookout for. Keep an eye out for. If I get any updated information, I'll be sure to let you know. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any friends that have a Samsung Galaxy S10 or Note 10, don't forget to share this video with them. Thank you for joining me today, and I will see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.